NEC is committed to corporate social responsibility. That means that NEC is committed to the environment. The company is aware that the use of petroleum-based material eats up 20% of the world's oil production. In Tsukuba, Japan, NEC have set this as their number one challenge. They're researching new materials, bioplastics, plastics made from plants. They began with a plastic made from corn. As the corn grows, it extracts carbon dioxide from the air. This plastic is renewable and recyclable, but its properties aren't good enough for all our everyday uses, in particular for electronic products. It's not heat resistant and under pressure, it cracks. Dr. Masatoshi Iji and his team wanted to discover a super bioplastic that could be made without using petrochemicals. Amazingly, they found the answer in a remarkable plant called Kenaf. Kenaf takes six months to go from seed to harvest, and just one field, such as here at the Nature Trust, absorbs twice the carbon dioxide compared to the same area of rainforest in the Amazon. By manipulating the fibers of Kenaf and adding them to basic bioplastic, they discovered that not only was it environmentally friendly, it had other remarkable properties. It had turned into a super bioplastic. The team also developed a new bioplastic with an extraordinary magical property, shape memory. Apply heat and force and it can be molded into any shape. Heat it again and it returns back to its original form. An added benefit, it melts at high temperatures, which means it's also recyclable. Docomo's ecophone made from NEC's Kenaf-based plastic is already on the market. By 2010, 10% of NEC's electronic products will be made from bioplastic. That means a significant reduction in petroleum depletion. And as bioplastic is also biodegradable, it means a reduction too in wasteful landfill. Bioplastics is just one area in which NEC is committing resources in order to develop far-reaching solutions for a healthier and safer environment. Empowered by innovation, NEC.